deep in the wild wood, Whiffle and Daffid are ambling along the winding path. Who we in the underworld are Whiffle and Daffid? Shush, you loathsome goblin. Listen to the story and you'll find out. Mm -hmm. Whiffle and Daffid are ambling along the winding path when they come across a curious cauldron. What do you call that? Uh, a cauldron? I'm starving. Do you think there's any food in it? The ash looks cold. Maybe it belongs to a witch. I don't like witches. Nah, let's tuck in. I'm famished. Oh, look, there's something at the bottom. A bit of stew would go down a treat. Daffid! Daffid! Oh, stinky poo. Where are you, Daffid? Whiffle feels something grab his nose really hard. Then it starts pulling and Whiffle's nose feels tingly all over. He grabs the edge of the cauldron. But the monster in the cauldron is too strong and Whiffle is dragged down, down into darkness. Oh, does he get eaten? Do they? I hope they both get crunched and munched by something nasty. Shush! It's dark. It's so, it's so dark, Whiffle tries to see by sniffing. This doesn't work, and anyway, something is still gripping his nose. I fell into this dark place. I couldn't see a blinking thing. When something long and pointy poked me in the ear, I grabbed it and pulled. Now would be a good time for you to let go. I wonder where we are. Somewhere dark. We need some light. Hang on, I've got my tinderbox. Quick, grab that candlestick. This is definitely something to do with a witch. I don't like it. I don't know, it looks pretty interesting to me. What are all these lovely potions and strange things in jars? I wonder if you can eat them. Oh, don't touch them. They're magic. Ingredients and potions. You might get turned into a frog. Who's in the apothecary? Well, who are you? Hello. I'm Daffy. This is my friend Whiffle. And how did you get down here? Through an enchanted cauldron. Oh, where did you find it? That's my cauldron. Oh, we found it by a path in the wild wood, not far from the dancing stones. <sighs> That's Gobby. He's always taking things and hiding them. Gobby, Gobby, go and find my cauldron. Now, would you like some tea and cakes? Oh, yes, that would be lovely. <laughs> 